Yep. So this is the uh, what right right rear fender? Another yeah, fender? Yeah. Um, I've already uh, applied the. Uh, God damn it. The black stuff. The the that shit. And uh, I'll start uh, sending it down. I don't think I'll have a whole lot of low spots on this. Um, oh, I said the same thing about that one over there, but. <clears throat> Guide coat, that's it, thank you. Uh, a little bit of a nib right there. I learned a hard lesson yesterday, not wearing gloves. Um, the uh, the primer that I was you know, kind of leveling out dries the hell out of skin. Uh, my cuticles are raw, split out, bleeding, uh, so it's definitely worthy of you know wearing gloves of some sort. Yeah, not just to keep your manicure, but uh, you know keep your hands from drying out. Okay, done with this one. Uh, this one took about two hours. Um, I've got some rework to do. Got some repainting to do. Re repriming, rather. Obviously, uh, these are the areas that uh, that were high versus the other areas that were low. I don't have any uh, any body work, any bondo to do, so that's good. Um, so I'm gonna let that dry. I may I may reprime tomorrow. Tomorrow is a, a Friday for me, and Fridays are light days, so. Next, one of those fuckers. Probably that one right there, left front. This is done. And this took me maybe an hour and a half, actually. Uh, you know, uh, not too bad. Some rework to do, but that's not tough. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm actually surprised at how quick this one went. A little work there to do. Uh, maybe, yeah. I need to put some Bondo in there. Um, anything work there? No. That one's good. I need to smooth out some... No, maybe I don't. There was a line where that seam is. I took care of that. And... Yeah, so what I want to do is take this off my clamps and uh, put it upright. See if I missed any areas that I just couldn't see. Well, yeah, I'm gonna see some right here, outer portion here where I can't get to. But beyond that, I think I'm gonna be done for the night here pretty soon. Swing. Okay, done for the night. And I am very pleased at how it turned out. Um, having spent so little time on evening, evening this thing out. You can see that's a high spot. If, if something comes through like that, it's a high spot. So, um, you know, I ground down the uh, the primer that was high and left the uh, substrate there that was below. Same thing there, same thing there. Um, a little bit of stuff in there that I'll wash out. Um, and a little bit there. This actually gave me some pause, but the, uh, the nose here um, not some pause, but some concern. Did I do it well enough? Did I eat it out well enough? I had a sag when I uh, primed it, but you know, I not to toot my own horn, but I did a good job on this fender. And given the 12 hours I had on it, with a repair piece and evening out the repair piece and on and on and on, I'm not displeased. I'm not displeased. Um, this side, I had nothing to do there, so that's nice and good. The only thing I do want to do, and I'll probably do this in the morning, right there. I couldn't get that even out with a pair of uh, vice grips or anything, so I'll just put a little bit of filler in there and even that right there. That portion right there, I'm gonna even that out. Oh, my back is killing me. Yep, not bad at all. Good night's work. So I've got that uh, that one fender on the other side left, on the right side, and then all of the the body prep and so forth here. Trunk is going to be a bitch. Yeah, I have, I have no intention on painting the interior tub of this at all, mainly because it's all going to get covered up with carpet and sound deadening and all that other stuff. So. Ostensibly, what did I say? Pro I, I think I had uh, estimated 
two nights, that is six hours on this fender here. Yeah, actually I've got some work in there. Look at how ugly that is. I'm not going to be able to leave that out with, uh, without uh, putting some Bondo in there, but yeah, who cares. Um, the rest of it's pretty smooth, but... So, let's assume two hours on this. Two hours, sorry. Six hours on this to include some bondoing, some re redoing in here. Um, I said 40 hours. I had, or 33 hours, or what the hell I said last time. Um, so I'm probably looking at 30 hours now before I'm ready for the, uh, the no shit paint job. Yeah, not bad.